Hola beautiful people, it's Nona here. Welcome to the Nona Nation. I come back. <laughs> I came back with another makeup tutorial. Um, I just wanted to do my version of a makeup tutorial of a soft glam. So right here, as you can see, I did take out my skin first. And then now I'm using the primer, the Fit Me Primer. It's the blue one which is for your oily skin so it's more for mattifying your skin if you've got an oily skin and also it helps with pores so i do have some pores on me so yeah and then next i'm using the foundation here so i use it with the brush because the consistency of this uh, foundation is not runny like the normal foundations that you would see this one it's quite a thick um, um, it has a thick consistency so so I had to like scrape it out with a brush <laughs> and then next I use the setting spray you can also use it as your, um, your, sh your it's not as you can use it as a setting spray you can also use it as um, for helping you when you're doing blending for your foundation into your skin so as you can see here, it's blending nicely. I'm using a beauty blender, which I got from Mr. Price. It was with the range of Scarlet Hill. They're quite uh, cheap, these um, beauty blenders. So yeah, you can get it at Mr. Price. I'll try and link the, um, the items that I'm using. And then next, I'm using the Pro Concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade almond so i use the lightest um shade from my actual shade so i like to have my under eyes quite light so that's the shade of the almond color on me so whenever you um highlighting there has to be a As you can see there, I'm doing all the parts that I need to that needs to be highlighted. As you can see, um, so I just go and take my time. You don't need to rush this step, guys. Um, for a beginner, I would say roughly 40 minutes, 20 minutes. No, sorry. <laughs> For a beginner, it can take a bit long. Um, once you get used to doing your own makeup, it's quite quick. So I was also jamming on music, sorry about those sessions. And then I blend, try to blend out the highlight, as you can see here. I use the same beauty blender, just a different side from the foundation when I was putting it. So it's the different side from the other side. And then I do my bottom. Now I'm going to do my top, my forehead. Um, so you can take your time when it comes to blending, guys. Of course, you don't want to have any harsh lines, as you can see. It's still not perfect, but now, as you can see now, it's quite okay now. Not nearly perfect, but you need to take your time when it comes to highlighting your face and contouring it. So. We'll see as we go. And then next I use a primer again. I'm going to try to do it again. Um, this time I'm using a different shade. This is the medium beige. So this would be lightest shade from the almond concealer. So I want my my under eyes to be light so this is what we're doing again we're doing the highlight again just to brighten up my eye and then i'm going to do my nose and then i'm going to do my 
not sure <laughs> um i forgot so it's just gonna be my eye under my eyes and my um, nose so then we're also gonna contour and then we're going to contour with the quick fix um this is also scarlet hill arranged from mr price and then we just do on the cheeks and then we're going to highlight also our forehead we're also going to do under our jawline So this is to woman up and structure your face. So when it comes to contouring, you just want to um, show your face more. So when it comes to um, contouring, it's to show your face and brightening it so it doesn't look flat. Whereas in the old days they used to just put um makeup foundation they would used to put foundation only and then you wouldn't have all these contour and highlights it was just wrong <laughs> in the olden days when you were making makeup and stuff so i blend under my neck so my neck is gonna be the same so it doesn't look odd so and then next I'm going to do my forehead. So when it comes to contouring, I prefer contouring first and then I'll go. Um, the last thing I would do is do... So yeah, I prefer doing... Um, my contour first and then end with my highlight as you can see here and then now I'm highlighting under my eyes and I'm gonna do my nose and I'm gonna do my eye and then I'm gonna do the nose And then next I'm gonna at the same time blend my set my eyes so I'm using the Yardley um, translucent powder in a shade um, caramel so I don't use the, the white white one so I prefer the caramel color because I don't want it to be too much of the powder so I try to blend as we go I don't um, bake so I just blend as I go and then now I just want to highlight my contour so you can see it nicely do on the other side so here guys you want to make sure when you blending your uh, setting powder under your eyes that you blend nicely because it can crease and then next now I'm going to use my bronzer which is from um, Scarlet Hill um, makeup It's the Scarlet Hill range from Mr. Price as well. So I use that dark, um, darker shades. So I try to like scalp out my nose and then I'm going to do my cheeks. I think here on the side, I went too much with the um, contour um, palette. So it was quite strong on my right hand side your left 
<laughs> I like to make the first as you can see there on my right it was very harsh you'll see later I'll try and fix that because it was too much on the other side so you also want to do your jaws and then you do your forehead as well so blend it nicely so these two things are not melting together so and then here as you can see i'm using the beauty blender i'm trying to correct that place where um i was a bit too much on my with my hand contouring that side and then next i'm gonna fast forward this uh side this part because i was doing my eyebrows eyebrows do take long yeah tandy did say <laughs> so yeah i had to like force forward so i do my eyebrows um it's nothing serious because i'm not a person who likes having those bold in your face eyebrows so i'm cleaning it up with the contour palette um using the shade which is the same as my foundation so we're trying to clean those eyebrows I'm happy about it and then next I'm gonna do my just gonna set my eyebrows because there's concealer there so you need to put um, the um, translucent powder and then next I'm gonna put some color into my my eyelids so I'm using this brown it's very light it's a very light brown So here guys I'm playing with color so I just wanted to do something different I didn't want to do my eyelids to be just a brown so I'm putting some color into it as you can see I tried to show you that I'm going to be using a darker brown on the corners of my eye outside corners of my eye using a dark brown shade As you can see that it's two different colors now that you can see on my eyelids different my brother showing me something here <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with this shimmer. I'm going to use it in my inner corner eyes. As you can see, it has a lot of shimmer on this. <laughs> I don't know where to stay. I was very heavy when I was um, taking all these colors. My, my hand was very heavy. But as you can see here on my left, I saw that I was using a bit too much on my right. So... I'm trying to correct that as you can see here I'm trying to clean it up a bit so it can match my right hand side my right eye I'm trying to clean that up because um, those palette were, those color that um, shimmer was really falling on my makeup and then next I'm using um, a mascara which is the essence mascara the limited without limits sorry it's the out limits without limits uh, concealer it's not the waterproof one I wish it was because I don't know if you will see it but um, it was hitting my 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 it was ruining my I look on top so I had to clean it up you will see later on and then now I'm going to be doing some blush I'm gonna be selfish I'm gonna be selfish you just can't deny I'm 
use this palette to highlight on top of that blush that I did. I'm not using this highlight. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of a highlight, so I just didn't want to go too much on it. I did my nose as well. And then I'm going to use the same highlighter that I used just to put some bedazzle on the corner of my inner eye. Now I'm doing, I'm setting my whole face. Don't forget to cover your eyes so you don't ruin the, your eyes. And I went heavy with the with the setting spray. As you will see, I'm gonna take the beauty blender to just melt out the remaining product because it didn't want to dry up, it was too much. And then next I'm gonna be doing my lips, as you can see here. And then I'm gonna use the MAC. That's very too much here. <laughs> we will see. I'll try to match it out because I put too much lipstick. And then next, I'm going to be using the lip gloss, the lip therapy from Discam. I really need to get the brushes from Discam. Um, to practice and know how to use brushes when I do the foundation. I was happy here. I'm all done with my makeup. So I hope you guys do stay and I hope you watch more of these. I'll try and link the first one that I did with Tandy. So please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!